I'm playing this on this tiny board. Let me show you how. RetroPie is a software that turns your Raspberry Pi into a retro gaming machine. It supports over 50 systems, and it's fully customizable. So for this setup, we need the Raspberry Pi 02W and an SD card for it. A micro HDMI adapter to connect your display. A micro USB adapter to connect the controller. And if you want to connect multiple USB devices, you can also use an USB hub. Make sure your hub has USB 2.0 ports. Now let's set up the software. Remove the SD card and plug it into your computer. Download the Raspberry Pi Imager and install it. I'll leave the official link in the description. Once the install is completed, open the Pi Imager. Select your device. To select the OS, go to the Emulation and Game OS and select RetroPie then the version for 02W. Then select the drive to install it in. Select the SD card you plugged in earlier, then install the OS. When it is completed, remove the SD card and put it back into the Pi. Connect the controller. Connect the HDMI monitor and the power cable. Then turn it on. The first boot will take some time. After it is done, the first screen you'll see is to connect and configure a controller. Press and hold any button on your controller. Well, that did not work. My controller is now in X input mode. Let me try switching it to direct input. Now the controller is detected. Keep pressing the buttons one by one to configure the inputs. If you want to skip any button assignment, just press and hold any button till it skips to the next one. And now, you see that there is nothing here. That's because we have not loaded any games. The game systems will show up only when there are supported games loaded in the correct folders. The easiest way to do this is using a USB flash drive. Take a USB drive and format it to FAT32. Then, inside the drive, create a folder called RetroPie. Now, unplug it and connect it to the Pi. Leave it there for a minute or two. This will create all the necessary folders for the game systems. Now, plug it back into the computer. You should see all these folders now. And inside the ROMs folder, you can load ROMs of the systems into their respective folders. I'm going to load some homebrew and open source game ROMs. Once everything is copied, take the drive and plug it into the Pi. Again, let it do its work for a while. All the games will be transferred to our SD card. A flash drive with a status LED would have been great for this situation. After a while, when you are confident that all the files would have been transferred, restart the emulator. And all the supported systems should now show up. Let's try a game. I also found this port of Doom called Free Doom. 
Pi-02W seems to be handling all this pretty well. But I doubt it's going to run anything serious like a PlayStation game. Comment if you have played anything good with this setup. Let's look at some useful settings that you might need. If you want to connect to a Wi-Fi network, open the RetroPi configuration menu and head over to Wi-Fi. Then select Connect to Wi-Fi Network and select a network and provide the password. Done. The entire system is also themable. Go to the ES Themes setting. Here, you can find a list of themes that you can install. You will need to have internet access to do this. Let's install a few themes. Go back, open the Options menu, UI Settings, and Set Theme. This is so cool. Leave a like if this video was helpful. See you in the next one.